Matthew, I really like the, uh, I like this idea that when people, when we all step into the recorded spotlight, we're all taking a role. And I think that there's something about that that strikes me as very true and ver- and almost unavoidably true. Even right now, there's, there's, there's a tension of us all having stepped into a role and trying to do it sincerely and authentically but there's there's immediately a tension when 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 you're called to speak publicly and if you have any idea of the limits of your own limits if you have any idea of the the enormity of your ignorance there's a like there's something enormously crushing about that and yet we do it anyway and i'm so i'm wondering about that like that's interesting to me and it's interesting to me not as an abstract idea but as something we're actually doing right now and it's something obviously I do with John, but it's something I think that uh, that you two fellas do as well on your podcast, which is that you extemporize, right? You, you you're coming in with a certain amount of knowledge and a certain, you know, you're coming in with a lot. We're all lacking a lot at the same time, and we're using what it is that we have, and we're trading it, and we're pulling it apart, and we're you know, we're doing something with it, and we've made this implicit decision that whatever we're doing with it is worth the time to do. And that there's some value in it. Or if we haven't made that decision consciously, then we've made it somehow because here we are, we're doing it. Um, and then, but then that takes different forms, right? Because you have the sort of the polished presentation of a paper where you've had the time to curate an argument and hopefully you've put some time into making sure that there's actually an argument and that if you're bringing knowledge to bear that you can source it properly and that you're not just being spurious. And then there's something else that happens and that's some that something else is the kind of thing that John and I are doing a lot which is that you basically you sit down and you use what you know or what you don't know and you just basically try and and you sort of use it in such a way that it doesn't become the object of what you're doing but that it becomes a, a different kind of game like an exercise and that exercise is playing with the extent of your own ignorance and trying to do something playful with ideas, not to actually get them right or get them accurate or get them precise, but to do something a little bit more artistic, a little bit more creative. And that whatever comes out of that creative exercise isn't that you've acquired new knowledge exactly, but that your relationship to it is different, right? Or the relationship you have with one another and the relationship we ha- you have with the whole exercise is different, right? And so there's this te- there's this knowledge wisdom tension in that I think right because it's like you're, I'm presenting a paper I'm trying to disseminate something and make a very clear argument that strikes me as something very different from sitting down with somebody and trading ideas in such a way that we're actually trying to build something with them and we're not exactly concerned with being right and wrong because that's not really the point we're trying to do something else we're trying to get into a certain kind of state where learning can happen. And it's the learning that comes from the dialogue. It's the learning through the ideas that is actually the practice. That's a very hard thing, though, to explain, because if someone tunes in and sees two people just trading a bunch of ideas in a very kind of slap and dash fashion, it's really easy to look at that and say, like, oh, my God, these guys are just full of shit. Like, what are they doing? And I'm really sensitive to that impression. And I think somehow there's a the difference between the, the bull, bullshit and actually doing something valuable has to do with why we're playing the game, what exactly the game is and exactly what it's for, and how it's framed by that ignorance and how self-conscious we are about that ignorance, you know, how much humility there is in the margins. That's a real tension. Like, I think it's really tricky, you know, and I'm hearing that a little bit in what all of you are saying. So, I, I mean, Chris and Matthew, like specifically you guys, I'm curious to know what you make of that difference in those forms of speech and how that interacts with this question of wisdom. 